So as you can see here, I have the GTI 9100 here. Let me confirm that. So here you can see GTI 9100 and this is running Android version 6.0. This is pure AOSP and this is in Cyanogen mode or something and it's really really stable. Everything works, or it seems to work at least and and yeah, let's take a look at this ROM. So this is not Cyanogen mod or something, this is poor stock Android AOSP. And this is the lock screen. And yeah, it is the same lock screen as in Lollipop. You have to swipe up to um, unlock the device. And you have two shortcuts here, you have the... Um, phone shortcut and the camera shortcut. I don't know why I have the phone shortcut here. Usually on Android Marshmallow you have the Google Now shortcut there. And you can also swipe down the notification drawer. And yes. So to come to the to the main screen, to the home screen, um, there are also some changes for example if you swipe to the left or to the right you can see this kind of glow effect there and this wasn't presented in Android Lollipop um, also the app draws is um, now different when you press to the app drawer icon here, you can see that you have a um, bar where you can search uh, your apps. And also, if you press the button, uh, if if you press this icon, the app drawer icon, for a long time, you can directly search without tapping to the top here. And another change in the app drawer is that you have to swipe up and down instead of to the right and left. And yeah, I think it's much cooler now. Um, as you can remember in Android Gingerbread, you had to scroll up and down also. Uh, yeah. To come to the installed apps, I have already installed the, the G apps, um, which includes Chrome. Um, YouTube, Play Store and the Google app and I have also installed a file explorer and a voice recorder. Um, there was no um, file explorer together with the ROM so it was really really hard to install it. I had to install it using Android Debugging Bridge ADB. There was no other chance to install a file explorer. And yes, the browser which comes with the ROM is a older browser which was presented in Android KitKat and it's a really really buggy. Um, it gives you force clauses and something when you do a search for a long, long time um, but you have still the option to use Chrome instead. The calculator is the same as in Android Lollipop with the cool material design and uh, yeah then we have the uh, calendar which is also from Android KitKat the camera app which looks similar to the the um, lollipop version but it had but it's definitely improved I gotta say for example there is a new animation if you swipe to the right to choose to, um, to choose the video or the camera option here um, the clock app is still the same as in Android 5.1. The contacts are also the same, the downloads, the email, everything, Lollipop material design style. The gallery is KitKat style, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah. Then we have the messaging app also in Lollipop style. Then the music, which is 
which is very very which has a very very old design it looks like gingerbread uh, but I'm not quite sure it could be ice cream sandwich also but it's really really old but nevertheless it works there are no issues um, yes then of course we have the settings and I've already rooted the device yeah. um, yes let's move on to the settings now um, as you can see there aren't that many new options here um, so there's a new option called press power button twice for launching the camera so if you press the um, power button twice the phone will directly open the camera app so this is a new feature which wasn't presented in um, Android Lollipop I think but I'm not sure um, then yeah then we have the memory option and it shows you your memory and the cool thing um, on Android Marshmallow is that you can use your your external SD card as a primary SD card so you can install apps and something or something like that on your external SD card which is really really amazing and you can add new users as usual um, it's a multi-language ROM and yes my favorite changes in Marshmallow um, are in the system UI um, you can there's a new option called system UI tuner or tweaker and you can enable it by clicking this icon for some seconds and then you get a new option in the settings at the bottom called system UI tuner um, yeah with the system UI tuner you can edit your quick settings um, to look like so you can you can edit them as you want so I do not need the the hotspot toggle here I also do not use the cast thing here I never need to invert my colors so this is also a toggle I do not need then do not disturb I don't know what sh with, with what this even is and uh, yeah so as you can see it looks different now and you can I think but I'm not I'm sure I'm not sure you can delete everything I think even let's try So the airplane mode, the data, mobile data, and screen rotation. Yeah, you can. This is funny. Um, you can also reset the the things. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it says reset here. Um, and you can do some modifications on the status bar so there are to um, icons if you can see them um, and you can switch or you can choose if you want to see this icon or not so if you enable airplane mode for example you can see this airplane here and if you don't want to see this airplane mode then airplane mode is enabled you can uncheck this here and the airplane modes icon won't pop up there anymore but airplane mode will of course still be on and you can do this with every icon on the status bar which is really really cool and you can also show a um, 
the battery percent um inside the battery icon here I don't I'm not sure if you can see this but it says it says 41 percent now but if you don't like this in the in this icon you can just uncheck this so let's come to recent apps there are also some changes uh, it looks still like the same as in Android Lollipop um, I'm not sure but, but it feels slower I'm not I'm not sure um, but the coolest thing is that you have now a close all button here um, you had to swipe everything um, at once uh, you couldn't swipe everything at once but now you can thanks to this button here if you press this button every recent app will be cleared so yeah so I've already done a N22 benchmark test but I've uh, uninstalled this app already because it gave me some force clauses when I used the um, Play Store for some reason I don't know why um, it gave me about 14,000 which is pretty good for an such an old device and it's cool to see Android's Marshmallow running on an really old phone. I it's a uh, it's a 2011 phone here the Galaxy S2 and uh, it's pretty cool to see that the 2015 um, operating system can run very very cool on this device. Yeah, it, it's so smooth. Everything is smooth and. Um, it's really cool. So this is the thing I like on Android. It's open source and you can always build the newest Android version for your device. And uh, yes, so this was my video about Android Marshmallow on the Galaxy S2. Um, be sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more reviews for this device or other devices um, yeah peace